on Horror Network. Hey guys, welcome back to Murky Monday Music Reviews, where we got chillin' vibes, chillin' tunes. I'm your host, Rebecca. I come to you every Monday with a music review. We sit, we chill, we relax, we vibe, and we listen to music and rate it. So if that sounds interesting to you, um, come hang out. I was just able to raise my eyebrow. And now I want to do it again, but I can't. <laughs> um, but also, we be vibing, okay? Okay, guys. So today, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite bands, which was actually a suggestion by one of my followers, which is pretty awesome. Um... I love them to pieces. I've got my little thing for them. I got my shirt for them. I have my CDs. And um, I got this from the concert I went to in 2017. I was about nine months pregnant. <laughs> and um, about. And then... Um, I, I went and I had a great time and it was worth every second. Uh, I had a huge belly and people were really respectful for me, like standing in the crowd. They didn't run me over. And uh, yeah, it was a good time. They are good people and it is Google Bordello. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about how I got introduced to them. So... I was at a house party. Um, I was pretty young. Um, let's not say how old. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I was with my best friend Amanda at the time. And somebody I had a crush on was actually there. And he put on this song called Start Wearing Purple. And so I watched the video and I couldn't believe it. I was like, this is fun, you know, like this is a good time. Um, what the hell is this? I, I, I was sitting on the couch with him and I was like, what is this? Who are these people? And, you know, it was back when um, music videos were very apparent and you know on MTV and stuff like that and I honestly forget where he looked it up it was probably YouTube then and then um ever since then you know 20 years later it's like still one of my favorites and uh one of the reasons like I really connected with my husband was because he also liked the band and you know uh, just like the um i think it was rob i think his name possibly <laughs> sorry should have written it down but he also said too like it's so obscure and it's hard to find people who know and like google bardella so i'm gonna be talking about them today and I'm going to tell you a little bit about them. So here we go. So they're an American punk rock band from the Lower East Side of Manhattan, formed in 1999 by musicians from all over the world and known for theatrical stage shows and persistent touring. Much of the band's sound is inspired by Romani music mixed with punk and dub, incorporating accordion and violin. And the only person I'm really going to talk about is the singer, which is Eugene. Because <clears throat> he's the best person ever. So, um, 
let me just say, I, I found this really cool snippet about him. And I just want to read that. Um, let me find it. Um, he's Ukrainian. He is, um, a gypsy. So he basically, um, oh, here it is. Eugene's, um, beginnings were humble. A butcher's son, descendant from Servitka Roma gypsies, known for musicians and performers. He made his first guitar with his father out of plywood and his first distortion pedals out of radio parts. How cool is that? And uh, this guy has been in many movies. Um, if you don't know, look it up. Um, Everything is Illuminated was one of my first movies that I saw him in. And <laughs> one of the things that I quote often is Sammy Davis Jr. Jr. Come here. And I think I remember his dog being named that. So he didn't do... <laughs> Sammy Davis Jr. or Sammy Davis the third or anything. He just did Junior Jr., which is one of my favorite things. But anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit about him, the band. And so let's get to one of these albums. Okay, so we're going to be talking about <clears throat> Gypsy Punk's Underdog World Strike. And this one is, it was, it was released August 9th, 2005. So that makes sense because 20, yeah, about 20 years ago. For me hold on close enough it like 18 years ago which is weird to say <laughs> um anyway <laughs> let me get back to the okay so it was recorded between october 2004 and february 2005 and the rating is 3.49 out of five that's interesting. Sorry, I got a kid in the background. I'm making a McRib at the same time. My own McRib. Yeah, don't judge me. I love them. Okay, so genres are gypsy punk, art punk, Balkan folk music, Romani folk music, and ska punk. It is energetic, humorous, conscious, urban, playful, manic, aggressive, rebellious, optimistic, political, party, <laughs> male vocals, uh, sarcastic, uplifting, raw, and rhythmic. Languages include English, Russian, Croatian, Romanian, and Spanish. Yo, if that doesn't explain who I am as a person and probably why I like them so much well it all makes sense now in my head if you know if you care but anyway <laughs> that is that's it so let's pick one of these songs I mean if uh the one person is listening I, I wouldn't be shocked. Actually, my whole family, if anybody's watching and listening, they probably know what song I'm going to pick first. Okay. Number nine on the album. Start wearing purple. I mean, come on. Come on. If this is the song that got me hooked... I think, I, I, you know, everybody's taste is different. But you, if you've been watching me, will probably understand why it hooked me. So here we go. 
This is from Side One Dummy YouTube, and we're going to steal some music, okay? Start wearing purple, wearing purple. Start wearing purple for me now. All your sanity and wits, they will all vanish. I promise. It's just a matter of time. So, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh my god. I don't know how people can not get clocked for songs and shit. I don't know. Guys, it's not my music, obviously. I am... I'm... I'm just talking about it. I'm trying to show the human race, or whatever you are, that this great music is a thing so sorry come on man um but yeah hopefully that doesn't block it out if it does <laughs> i always have the um links down below i give credit where credit is due and tell me you didn't like that song if you didn't then you didn't <laughs> let me know you know um but as you can see, it's very energetic. It's very fun. It's one of the songs that I had at my wedding. And then this one as well. I think it's on this one. Ooh, American Wedding. Yes. Number 13. American Wedding. <laughs> because I'm in America and I had a wedding. Okay. So, <clears throat> how fun is that? Um... If I were, if you were to ask me, I don't have a favorite. I just picked this one because obviously it's the first. That's what I heard first. That was the first song. Um, back then, I didn't know like albums and popularity. It was just like finding things randomly. Um, so yeah, let's move on to rating. I've heard jokes about American Bandstand's Raider record segment. I can't go to an airport, I can't walk through a shopping mall without somebody yelling, Hey Dick, it's got a great beat, it's easier to dance to, I'll give it to so-and-so. Okay. Sorry, I had to take, it took like 45 minutes for this fake rib to cook. Like, why? But anyway rating can you not tell where this is going for me hold on oy vey anyway 10 out of 10 i am recommending um hopefully one of these days i will do the other album i try to um, spice it up a little bit and do other um you know people other bands so it's not so repetitive and only the ones I know and like you know um somebody else suggested um Guar again the second album I believe is what they said and a couple others so they are on the list and they will be coming um I just gotta get through a couple others so um yeah now that that's all said and done, let's move on to socials. All right, so socials. Um, Mercury Monday music reviews basically everywhere. If you can't find it on Instagram, it's just Mercury Monday music. And then Mercury Monday music reviews at gmail.com is a good one to message me on for any kind of um suggestions uh let me know 
um yeah just a little bit of everything so uh I'm still I you know what I'm getting back into the um Etsy situation because I kind of want to do some buttons for anybody interested in uh just having a little murky Monday music reviews button um because I'm starting to get creative again probably my seasonal depression is summer <laughs> even though I get really sick in the winter <laughs> like if you can't hear I still I have allergies you know closes up um but yeah I um I'm gonna start putting out some buttons again you know like five dollar buttons just to help me out a little bit um because I really want to get a new camera um but that's just difficult in these times. <laughs> I mean, obviously, even just buying a $5 button, like, who needs a button? Mm hmm You know? Um, but, yeah. Um, that's it. I'm just goofing around. Just new boot goofing. Um, so, yeah. Uh, if any of this interests you, you know, hit me up. We're just having a good time. Hopefully, you're having a good time. Always vibing always staying cool and um yeah that's it stay sane guys and i will catch you next monday <sighs>